So, this week's episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains was one of the best surprising episodes by far. Yes, we finally, finally get to get the answer to the riddle. Who was behind Bowman? It's turned out to be Lightning, the Light Ignis, and Windy, the Wind Ignis. Now, this was quite surprising for some viewers. I know that there, there were behind Bowman and they were behind the rest of those incidents because I said in my previous review that my theory is I'm thinking that the Wind Ignis and the, the Light Ignis is the person that sent Bowman to capture Kusanagi brother consciousness and it turned out to be through. This was quite surprising. Now, it seemed that Windy caused an accident. Yes, Windy wanted to kill his own partner. Now, when they, when you're talking about accident, we're talking about two accidents that we see in the anime. The first one is when Blue Angel brother was thinking about his past when he saw the accident scene. The second one is Blood Shepherd. Maybe Windy partner is Blood Shepherd because Blood Shepherd because of this incident Blood Shepherd ate Ignis ate the AI so the Wind Ignis AI or the Wind Ignis partner turned out to be Blood Shepherd <coughs> sorry so if this is true it was quite surprising now it seemed like revolver yes we wanted to find out we wanted to see this happening in the anime Synchro summoning revolver finally bring it out when he summon Barrow Roll Salvage Dragon. Yes, this is one of the most powerful monsters I saw. This is one of the most powerful monsters in the anime by far. So we all know that Revolver is gonna get a synchro monster. The next person to get a synchro monster will be Playmaker. Now Playmaker Kusanagi Flames and Soul Burner found out that the wind ignis. And the light ignis is their enemy. Who else will be their enemy? Will they be will the other ignis become their enemy? What happened to the water ignis? The water ignis is the person who found out that the wind ignis and the lightning uh, light ignis is the person who is going up against yes, going up against humanity. Now, his bowman and his brother are allegedly brother, both artificial intelligence created by the ignis. These and all these little questions are excited to ask and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Now, it seems like the Wind Ignis is the person that gave Bowman the special ability to use Storm Axis in Master Duel. We all know, or maybe I'm thinking that the, the Dark Ignis, yes, the Dark Ignis will upgrade, will get upgrade, we get more smarter, we get more control over Data Storm and because he get in, getting more control over the Data Storm, this is where Playmaker will get his Synchro Monster. This is where Playmaker will get his ultimate or one of his most strongest monster from a data storm in a master duel. And I can't wait to see that happen. So, this week's episode was amazing. It was surprisingly exciting. And I can't wait to see you next week or the next episode. So, subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment box if you feel like it. Tell me what you thought about this week's episode. Wasn't it surprising to find out that Windy is a person that caused, um, might be caused Blood Shepherd's incident, might be caused Blood Shepherd's mother to be in a coma, or mo mother to can't, or Blood Shepherd's mother can't walk again? Is it the Wind Ignis that's caused this? Will Blood Shepherd, when Blood, will Blood Shepherd found out, or uh, if Blood Shepherd, Shepherd found out that Windy or the Wind Ignis is the person that Cause his mother to be in pain, cause him to lose his hand. Will Blood Shepherd finally get his revenge? So because of this, it's quite exciting and I can't wait to find out. Because next week's episode, Blood Shepherd is gonna be there. So, I can't wait for the next episode. Seriously, subscribe or like the video.